They have, of course, Marta Bastianelli still in their ranks, who arguably is the fastest rider left here. But this is... Um, this is Marta Bastianelli herself. She's just not waiting for for any sprint. She's just, just going for it, the former world champion. But this might be a little bit... That those barriers it's very were rough. not lovely. Yeah. It's, it's very rough. You can see where they put the barriers to stop the riders going on the uh, non-cobbled part of the road. You can see it almost... The cobble sector is only around a car width wide. Maria Giulia Confanieri of Unox Pro Cycling in the yellow has managed to get to the wheel of uh, Marta Bastinelli. And just look how rough this cobble, these cobbles are. They're anything but beautiful here. Audrey Cordon Rigo taking a very nice... A, a double world champion, a winner of the uh, Tour of Flanders. Uh, she had a fantastic season a couple of years ago. Wanted to retire last year, but said, I'm just going to write one more year and look at that. She's in a winning position yet again, but do not underestimate Maria Giulia Confalonieri. She's the queen of top 10 placings. The peloton, it looks close from this shot, but it's nothing. It's, it's, it's nothing. It's not close at all, actually. It's really, really far, Hannah. It is. When you get to around 500 metres to go, you get to a pinch point which will favour this duo out front as opposed to the larger peloton because it really is a squeeze. And for these two riders, for Maria Giulia Confanieri, we shouldn't underestimate her. She's been a double European champion in the points race on the track mm. and she takes a look behind her now and she, she's certainly going to give Marta Bastianelli a run for her money because it's been over 200 days since she last had a victory. She wants this one. <laughs> Yeah, her last victory was actually last year. Also here in Belgium, her only victory to date uh, on the road, that is, like you said, Hannah, she's a prolific track racer. But let's get back to this interesting uh, sprint at the front. In the yellow and red, it's Maria Giulia Convolonieri. And in the colors of UA Team EDQ, it's Marta Bastianelli. Two very experienced riders. Marta Bastianelli, she wants to sprint from second place. Look at the facial expression there for Maria Giulia Convolonieri. Had a, a few good sprints as well in the UAE Tour with some top tens there as well. But Marta Bastianelli is just lurking like a shark in the water there behind the back of Maria Giulia Convolonieri. Valonieri. She's going to launch her sprint with just under 150 meters to go. Bastianelli, she has the class and Convalonieri gave everything and Bastianelli wins this race after a really, really smart move on the Rue de Bellevue. And then the peloton sprint is won by one of the riders of FDG Suez. Might be Gladys Verhulst there uh, winning the peloton sprint. But uh, yeah, she was um, disappointment. You saw her straight away, banging the handlebars, just... winning the bunch sprint. It looked like the the tall figure of Guazzini, and it's a third place for the second year running for the Italian. So I believe we have an all Italian podium. And uh, you really must admire Marta Bastianelli because a few of her rivals were out due to crashes, sadly, and she could have guessed. She could have just put everything on her sprint. Marta Bastianelli, Maria Giulia Convalonieri, Vittoria Guazzini, three Italians, Cordon Rago, Lieke Nooyen, Marjolein van het Geloof, Marco Vichy, Marta Trouwe, Mieke Dox and Roxanne Fournier. Two riders of the uh, SAF team in the top ten and uh, three Italians on the podium, which is lovely. It's wonderful. Not a bad start. <laughs> a great, great ride there from Mika Dox in ninth place. She, she perhaps didn't have the race that she was hoping for on the weekend. And to be able to turn that around with a top 10 here. Did. First place, three <laughs> races in Belgium. That's uh, great. Yeah, Belgium is my second uh, home, I think. <laughs> and uh, today is a very hard day for me. I am not to say well, but I, I follow the plan, the team attacking the last uh, part of the Cabberson. And uh, with me, there is a big, big rider, uh, Mar Mar Maria Giulia Confalonieri. I am sorry because uh, I not uh, help too much she, uh, but I know in the back uh, I am uh, the sprinter and uh, I don't know what's happening because I listen the radio too much think and uh, I think uh, I don't have a, 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 a lap, a gap, the time, the gap and I don't, I don't know what's happening inside me. I don't know if I push or not push, but okay, I arrive, I do my best in the sprint and uh, I am happy for me and for my team. But you knew that you were probably the best at the sprint, that's why you didn't take over. 
Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe if I arrive in, uh, in the, the, um, the group, the sprint is for Chiara. And, uh, but my job today is this and I follow the plan. It's incredible that this is your last year. You're going to finish up in the Giro. Uh, this is incredible. Do you think you're going to go over or you, you stop? You're sure? No, no, I am sure. This year I am <laughs> sure. I am, I am happy to uh, finish my career with a victory. And uh, I, I hope this is the best for me and for the younger girl. Last question. It looks like the Italian road race today, this podium, three Italian on the podium. Yeah, the Italian is uh, grab up now in this moment and uh, I am very happy for, uh, for the Italian team. Thank you. <laughs>